Hello Aquarius souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I am so excited to be bringing this reading to you today. This week's series, I have channeled 12 different family film quotes for each zodiac sign to assist with ancestral healing. Right now, the collective is purging a lot of negative energy, toxic patterns within their ancestral lineage. And we have been doing this work together, and it has not been easy. So there are a lot of spirits, a lot of ancestors coming through that have some messages for you to assist you with whatever it is you're working on healing in your ancestral lineage at this time. So let's see what your family film or family TV show quote is, Aquarius. I wrote them on some slips of paper and I put them in this little tin. So let's see. Ooh, that one flew right out. We have... I don't have friends... I have, I'm sorry, I don't have friends, I got family. And Dominic Toretto said this from the film Furious 7. And I believe that's in the Too Fast, Too Furious franchise. I will also be pulling one card from four different decks the first of which is the Mystic Monday Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Aquarius souls? We have the Four of Wands. Next, we will be using the Divine Feminine Oracle. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have Sarah Lacalli, Queen of the Outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Next, we'll pull a card from the Cosmic Journey Oracle. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have, <laughs> interestingly, Ancestor. And this is an ancestor healing message, so very cool. And the final card will come from the Angel Answers deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Aquarius souls? We have a year from now. Okay, Aquarius, let's reflect on your movie quote. I don't have friends. I got family. So Spirit is showing me how you value the people in your life, even if they are not blood to you. You look at your friends as though they are your family. And that is truly beautiful and admirable that you have that type of an awareness with the people you're connected with. Having the mantra, I don't have friends, I got family, that means you see everyone in your circle 
who means something to you very deeply, authentically, and very connected to these individuals, you see them as family. And that is quite a bond to have with the people that you are closest to. So I'm seeing that even when somebody isn't linked to you through blood, you still consider them part of your lineage because of the close relationship, the close values, and the unconditional love you have for these people. So I'd like to place my hand on this quote and see what I can hear specifically from spirit to see what else is coming up here from your ancestors. There are some ancestor energies here, especially with this card coming through. So thank you. What would you like to tell your Aquarius loved ones? I'm hearing the word searching. Some of you are searching for family members who you've lost touch with, I'm seeing. I'm seeing some of you have actually resorted to hiring a private investigator for this. There's some long lost family that you have been searching for, that some of you have been searching for. I'm not seeing this is the case for everybody. This is a pattern in the family that's coming up to be healed right now. And your, your ancestors are helping you to connect with these members of your family. That's really, really interesting and cool. And, because, and it's very interesting because we have the Four of Wands here. And see how the shape on the card, it looks like a home. Well, the Four of Wands does represent home life. So things are improving because of your work to break this pattern. I'm seeing there was some type of an abandonment in the past. There was a separation where some children when you were younger went to go live with different caretakers and there was a separation that occurred and this is what caused you to lose communication with one another. I'm seeing a lot of different dynamics here, but the, the main message coming through is searching and looking for loved ones to break this pattern where you became separated. It's wanting this oneness, this unity of the family to be reunited with one another again. Like I'm seeing those TV shows where people hire investigators to reunite with a sibling or a mother or a father, somebody that they did not have in their life growing up and they're wanting to reconnect. I'm seeing hugs, I'm seeing embraces happening here. It's a very beautiful energy. So the fact that you were working on healing this, it is literally transcending and rising the energy of your vibration with this ancestral healing, bringing people together because you Aquarius are somebody who has a gift of bringing people together. You really do, and it's very beautiful. I'd like to see what else I can hear. Is there any other messages you'd like to bring forth with? Um, there, There is an energy here for some of you where some of the people you're searching for they're in this energy where they don't want to be found. Okay, Spirit, so what messages do you have in regards for situations like this? How can this be healed if one of the parties isn't willing to step forward and reconnect? What's your advice here? Thank you. Okay, they're saying to give it time with that. They're saying not all is lost because I'm being drawn to a year from now. So if you're finding it difficult with your search, with looking for one of your family members, 
and their energy is in this state of not wanting to reconcile or not wanting to reconnect with you, Spirit is saying to give it time to continue to do the inner healing, not to give up. They're saying don't give up, okay? Everything will work out. There's just this divine timing at play. Everything has to align perfectly with divine timing. There's something that this person is going through, very difficult, and they don't have this self-awareness to connect with you. If they were to do it right now, it wouldn't be the right time. And this isn't the, only a message for those of you who have not been able to connect with this person or they're not wanting to. I'm seeing as you continue to do the work right now in other ways, not to give up on this, in time, you will reconnect with this person. And because it's something you came here to do, this is a cycle you came here to break, but whatever this other person in your family is going through right now, it's not the right time. So just keep doing your affirmations, keep doing your meditation, keep doing your healing, keep believing everything is working out as it's supposed to. So when you think it's not working, it is. So don't give up, okay? Everything is working out. What else? Thank you. Yeah, I'm hearing the word lost. Okay, so there's another dynamic here where somebody went missing or became lost and you have been searching for them in that sense as well some of you what's going on here spirit was this like an abduction or a kidnapping of some sort Yes, um, I'm being shown someone was abducted when they were walking on this road. It's in this area where there's not a lot of houses around. So whoever this was, when they were walking on this road, someone took them. What happened? Are they are they okay? Are they still are they still here with us, Spirit? Thank you. I'm hearing for some for some of you this person. I'm hearing the name of Anna for some of you. Is she okay? Is this person okay? Is he okay? Because Anna could be your name. It could be the name of whoever was abducted. That wasn't specified here. What happened here, spirit? I'm hearing this person is alive. I'm hearing this person is alive. Wow. How can they reconnect with this person? Do they are they living by the same name that they had before? No, it was changed. Okay. What's interesting, this person who was kidnapped or abducted and their their energy is very much still alive on the planet, they, they took on a new name based off of the caretakers who took them. And they still, they were, I'm seeing they were young, but they weren't young enough to the point where they forgot their true family is what I'm seeing here. Thank you, Spirit. How is the universe healing this? How is the universe reuniting, bringing the family together? This person, they have actually taken it upon themselves to start looking for their real family. I'm seeing there was a lot of truth that came out. I'm seeing they sat down with these people. I'm seeing they sat down with the people who took them 
and a lot of truth came out here and now they're in this energy of wanting to find you to connect with your family and it's only a matter of time before you're re you're reunited with whoever this is uh, for a lot of you i'm seeing it was um a younger sibling a little girl a daughter particularly the name anna that name is coming up um that could be your name as well very very interesting but I'm seeing that spirit is helping to heal this as well because there is a pattern in some of your lineages where someone was abducted, kidnapped, or taken, and it caused a lot of grief in your lineage. Like the grief that your family has had to deal with and to feel and to the sadness it's caused a lot of pain and you are someone who came here to break that cycle and also I'm seeing the person who was abducted is also a star seed and that's why this pattern is also being broken is because of their willingness to look for their real family so spirits at work here it will take a little bit of time here but just trust, keep believing, everything is working out Aquarius, okay? These difficult cycles, the one of grief, the one of losing family members, being separated, getting out of touch, this is being healed. And as you're working on it, you really are creating a reality for yourself where it is unity with your family, oneness, and healing and unconditional love, okay? With Four of Wands, this represents home life. So obviously with ancestral healing, we will have some of that. Thank you, Spirit. What is your message with the Four of Wands? Thank you. Yeah, they're just pointing out the environment where you live, how you have an ability to create amazing, beautiful spaces for yourself and your environment, it really does matter when it comes to manifestation. So keeping things decluttered, keeping things clean, you're literally clearing out the clutter of your mind, as Louise Hay likes to say, right? What other messages are coming through with Four of Wands? Yeah, the, the energy is just very happy, very blissful, celebration, joy, and it's because of this very powerful healing that you're doing. So you're moving into a very blissful energy in regards to your home life. And also with how you create beautiful spaces for yourself in your home. Your unique way of decorating, your unique way of cleaning, keeping things decluttered and tidy. It all matters. It really does. Next, we have Sarah Lacalli, Queen of the Outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Okay, so Spirit is showing me how growing up you felt like you were an outsider. I'm being drawn to the word outsiders here, Queen of the Outsiders. So it's almost like feeling like the black sheep of the family, realizing that you didn't think or do things the same way your family did. Like you always had this awareness that something was different and special about you, Aquarius. And that's because you, you chose to come here with a very powerful mission to do what you love, to do this ancestral healing, to be an example of light in the world and for your family. And there's, there's an ancestor here who wants to say something about this. Thank you. Who's coming forward right now? Thank you. I'm hearing the name Erica. Thank you.
there's a soul here who identifies as Erica, and she keeps saying cream of the crop, cream of the crop. What else, Erica? Thank you. She's pointing out an emergency of some sort, something, how you handled a very difficult emergency. What was this? Thank you. I'm seeing a car accident a very big emergency. Was this a cycle of some sort? Thank you. Yeah, she's, she's showing me how you handled this situation with so much grace. Whether you were in the car accident, um, if there was something with the insurance and with the money, um, I'm, I'm being shown there was a cycle here that you helped to break when you weren't conscious, when you didn't have the awareness. It, it was still something you helped break before you actually had a spiritual awakening and connected with the spiritual realm is what I'm seeing. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit more about this? What was this pattern? I'm hearing the words Darth Vader, so perhaps you are a Star Wars fan, but I'm being drawn to how Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father. So there was a cycle here with an accident and your father. What else happened here, Spirit? Thank you. There was something about how you took action, you prevented something from being worse than it was, you had to step in when your father wasn't doing something. There was a cycle you broke here with a car accident, an emergency, something to do with insurance money, preventing something from happening, and this had been a cycle that had been replaying in your lineage for a long time, but... Erica, who I'm feeling is a very strong ancestor guide for one of you or some of you, pointing out how you broke cycles when you weren't aware that you were breaking cycles. Very, very cool. So yeah, I'm being drawn to the mantra, I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. So Spirit is saying that you are always in the right place at the right time. And your, uncon your unconditional love that you show up with has helped you your entire life. Even in those moments where you are angry, sad, grieving, you've always had this knack of bringing unconditional love into any situation. And... It's an example you've set for your lineage and your ancestors are saying thank you. So very cool, Aquarius. I don't have friends. I got family. How you view people in your life, even if they're not of your blood lineage, you still view them as family. And that's very, very special to have that kind of a connection with the people that you love. With searching... Things are working out. Keep doing the healing. And also, whoever you're searching for, some of them have taken it upon themselves to look for you. There's very powerful 
cycles being broke here in regards to having been out of touch with somebody, lost communication with somebody, spirit and your ancestors are infusing you with strength to help heal these cycles. So don't give up, keep going because in a year from now, things are going to be looking very much different than they are right now. All right. And you have very powerful ancestors that are assisting you in this work. We had one very powerful ancestor come through, a spirit guide for some of you, goes by the name of Erica, pointing out how you have been breaking cycles your whole life, how you've been an example of unconditional love and light in your family, how you have this presence when you walk in a room like I have arrived, and also this energy have of feeling like an outsider, it has served you because you didn't think the same way that everyone else in your family did, and it's something that has rubbed off on them. Your way of thinking has rubbed off on them. Even if they don't accept every single belief that you have, that's okay. We're not meant to do that, but your unconditional love has gotten through to them, Aquarius, and these are the biggest cycles. Your unconditional love to help continue to break those cycles, being that light that brings people together, continuing to do that searching, and knowing that your members of your family who you've lost touch with, some of them have also started this process of searching for you and your loved ones. So very beautiful energy here. Those are your messages. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.